Today I'm going to use the Dyson Airwrap on my short hair. Let's just jump right in. Oh, it just feels so good. So nice before I shot. All right, let's try this. Wrong one. Looks really good. <laughs> wow, this hair is gonna be short. It's not gonna be as curly if the hair was longer, but this is gonna give a lot of volume. So basically how I'm alternating the curls when I'm holding it down with the arrows, you can see it's going away from my face, and then I twist it back around, it's going towards my face. So I'm just basically going to alternate. All right, on the opposite side, I'm gonna keep the same thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep the same one. And I'm just gonna go up away from my face and then down is gonna be towards. I'm just basically following the arrows. I wanna see if that's gonna be easier for me. All right, I'm gonna grab those little hairs underneath. I'm not really trying to focus on the very bottom hairs just because they're this short. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> These are a little bit more wet, so I'm gonna hold it for a little bit longer. <laughs> so bouncy. And I am trying to keep the barrel closer to my scalp just to make sure I'm getting enough volume towards my roots. <laughs> One thing I'm noticing is if your ends are still a little too damp, they don't grab as well as when they're a little bit less damp. <laughs> George Washington curls. <laughs> wow. I look like I have a lot of hair right now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> look how bouncy it is though. So bouncy. I'm not hating it. I actually like it. There's so much volume. I'm just gonna take my hands and just kind of work it. I mean, you guys see that? The curls are just so bouncy. <laughs> yes! Woo! 
I'm creating some type of waves with this hairstyle. It's basically kind of taking like hot rollers, but better. What do we think of this? Is this way too much volume or are we loving it? I think there's a time and place for every single hairstyle, honestly. Would I wear this on an everyday basis? Maybe, maybe I would. <laughs> Obviously it's gonna settle down as the day goes on, but you know what? I'm actually really enjoying it. It's very big, loose waves, a lot of volume towards the bottom. So if you want some kind of volume, do something like this. I think you'd really enjoy this. Let's talk about the performance on this for a shorter hair. Obviously, it really makes your hair a lot shorter, so keep that in mind. But this did a pretty good job, honestly. The one thing I do wanna say is dry off your ends a little bit so they're maybe like 70% damp. 70% dry, 30% damp. That's the correct way I was trying to say it. Because if the ends are too damp, they're not gonna clamp as well and hold on. So you saw me, I was drying the ends a little bit and then they were easily wrapped around and they were holding on very well. Smaller sections are better than bigger sections because you'll get a little bit more curl or a wave. With a bigger section, it's gonna be more of a volume effect. So it depends what you're going for, especially with shorter hair. The one thing always, if you're working with damp hair, make sure you cool shot after you heat the hair. So once it's already dry, before you let it go, turn on the cool shot, that right there turn it on so it will cool off the hair and set it in place. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. It is a little bit harder towards the very bottom, like the very lower sections of hair just because they are super short. So honestly, I didn't even bother with them if they just didn't reach. <laughs> Another thing, you don't have to alternate like I did. It does take a little bit of extra time, but I just wanted to see how it would look and I actually like how it looks. I like the effect it gave. And there you guys have it. Thank you for joining me, my Dyson Airwrap, for this very quick tutorial on how to use it on shorter hair. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.